The Gospel of July the 12th, 2015 A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark Jesus summoned the twelve and began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over unclean spirits. He instructed them to take nothing for the journey but a walking stick, no foot, no sack, no money in their belts. They were, however, to wear sandals but not a second tunic. He said to them, Wherever you enter a house, stay there until you leave. Whatever place does not welcome you or listen to you, leave there and shake the dust of your feet in testimony against them. So they went off and preached repentance. The twelve drove out many demons, and they anointed with all many who were sick and cured them. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us take a good pick of the first reading from Amos. Amasia, priest of Bethel, said to Amos, Off with you, visionary. Flee to the land of Judah. There earn your bread by prophesying. Never again prophesy in Bethel. It is the king's sanctuary and a royal temple. Amos answered, I was no prophet, nor have I belonged to a company of prophets. I was a shepherd and a dresser of sycamores. The Lord took me from behind the flock and said to me, Go, prophesy to my people Israel. And also from St. Paul to the Ephesians, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing. He chose us in Him before the foundation of the world, to be holy and without blemish before Him, in love, he destined us for adoption to Himself through Jesus Christ. In Him we have, in Christ we have redemption by His blood, the forgiveness of transgressions. He has made known to us the mystery of His will. That we might exist for the praise of His glory. In him you also have heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. Believed in him, were sealed with the promised Holy Spirit. All right. We see that rebellious house of Israel. The priest of Bethel. The house, Bethel means the house of God. Is rejecting Amos the prophet sent by God, a priest that's supposed to be serving God, rejects God's envoy. He is upset with Amos because he does not, Amos does not go with the flow. He is not politically correct and he causes trouble and he wants to reject him forever. Off with you. Flee to Judah. There earn your bread by prophesying. Because here is the king's sanctuary and a royal temple. He has forgotten the name of the place, Bethel. He has forgotten his vows to the Almighty. But he wants to work for a man in the world. He could have been working for the demon for the same purpose. Because he has forgotten as a priest the one who gave him life. God wants to shower us, and he has already done so with all kinds of blessings through our Lord Jesus Christ. We were made to be children of God, not to die, not to suffer continually. We have heard how death entered the world through the envy of Satan, and they suffer it, those who follow Satan. But for us, who believe in Christ, life eternal has been granted. Yet, just as the twelve say in the Gospel, they were preaching repentance, metanoia. Shub is the word in Hebrew that the Lord wants to tell us over and over, turn back to me, turn back, 
Repent from your evil ways, from your wicked ways. We also are able to deny the Lord our Maker. We also are able to deny that in our life, in our body, is not the temple of God as it should be. And by doing that, by denying God, and we deny ourselves. And by denying Him and ourselves, we end up dead. Is that what you really want? Yet the mercenary, the one that has an interest, will not enter into the house of God. For only the Son will remain in the house of the Father. So if we are to try to purchase a place out of obedience or any other thing, it will not be for sale. It has to be through love and obedience as a son, as a true son. It has to go through the emptiness of ourselves and the fulfillment and growing of the Word that is the Christ in us through the action of the Holy Spirit, that we might become the true sons of God in the Son of God. The mercy of the Lord is there. He's sending the twelve out to everyone to cure the sick, to expel the demons, to teach repentance and teach the way to the house of our Father to live forever. What is deeper in your heart? Is it not happiness? Is it not life? Is it not love and then eternal and faithful? That is what is deepest in your heart, your deepest desire as well as mine. And that has a name. His name is God. And we are looking for Him all over the place, even deeper in our hearts. But we will remain restless until we rest in God, in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The mercy of God is that He has sent His Son. In Isaiah chapter 49, it is written, Hajom, Josh, Hajom Jeshua, the day of salvation, the day of Jesus. Today is the day of Jesus. Today, turn back to your Father, to our Father. Turn back in repentance and ask Him that He might heal you, that He might help you follow His path, the path of His Christ, until finally we can meet in heaven. Let us not only pray for ourselves, brother, brothers, but I ask you especially to pray for me too, as I pray for all of you every day. But let us also pray for those who are bound by sin, by grave sin, those who have no one to pray them for them. Let us pray for them too, and for all the children of God in the world. Until we meet in heaven, God bless you all, brothers.